Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I have some disturbing new updates to share about the Christian and Bridget Ziegler story. Before I do, please click the subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. I greatly appreciate it. So here's the deal, as you all know, the now former chairman of the Florida Republican Party was recently cleared of a rape allegation. He is still, though, under investigation for allegedly recording his sexual encounters with his accuser without her knowledge or cons and consent. So this is Christian Ziegler that I'm referring to. And it was recently revealed through the rape allegation and the police report that Christian and his wife, Bridget, had a threesome with this same woman. This apparently happened approximately two years ago, although Bridget claims it was only one time, and the newly released police records show that Christian admitted to having a threesome with this woman twice. So they keep contradicting each other. So this was a big story because obviously Christian's position and leadership within the quote unquote party of family values. Um, also, because his wife Bridget is a complete hypocrite, she's the co-founder of the hateful anti-LGBTQ group Moms for Liberty. So additional details have recently been released by the police and Christian Ziegler is way more depraved than we thought. The report says that Christian Ziegler has known this woman for 14 years, and in that time, he admitted to having sex with her about a dozen times. So we have to ask, like, does this mean he's been regularly having sex with this other woman while he's married? And then the police reviewed all of Christian and Bridget Ziegler's text messages, and they show that Christian was really the one pushing for this threesome, even though he acknowledged that this woman has, quote, issues. So there was a text exchange in February of 2021. This was between Christian and his wife, Bridget. And he thought, he told his wife, that this woman was, quote, hot. And then he told his wife to, quote, come home, stop and pick up, and then the name of the woman, to play again and be crazy. So it appears he was referring to this woman who ultimately accused him of rape. Um, the police didn't obviously release the name that he used in this text message, but it appears to be her because he said that this woman is in quote, alcoholic, nice person with some issues. Also, according to the police report, Christian said that he liked this woman because she lives close and there was no drama which turned him on. <laughs> How wrong he was. Now, Bridget, on the other hand, expressed concern about, quote, taking advantage of anyone because Bridget said that the woman, quote, seems broken or going through some shit. I don't know. That's the vibe I pick up from her and my nature more likely to help her versus, you know. Then she also told Christian she prefers, quote, confident, empowered people. And then Christian told her that they needed to, quote, hunt for someone new. So this wasn't just like a oh, whoops, we all got drunk, look at what happened, like, oh, that was a mistake. No, they were actively seeking out threesome partners, or at least he was, and he was pushing Bridget to do so. And this is while Bridget and her vile Moms for Liberty group is out vilifying and ginning up hate against the LGBTQ plus community. And there was more. There was more evidence on his phone. The police found a list of women on his device. The list was simply titled the list, all in caps. And then the subheading was the word fuck. Yeah. So the name of this woman, this, his accuser, was on the list along with the names of several other women. So this married so-called Christian family values Republican Party leader was out scouting other women to have sex with him 
and or to have sex with him and his wife. And Christian's accuser told the police that he, quote, had been sexually battering her for years, and she never felt like she could say no to him. She even claims that he climbed through an unlocked window of her apartment at one time, and the police found some really interesting information, again, on his phone about that, where he mentions to her, he texted her, that he could come through the window. And then the police found some equally interesting searches on Christian Ziegler's phone. This is after he was accused. So he was searching for, quote, what is the average settlement for a premises liability sexual assault case? Also, can vanish mode messages be recovered on Instagram? Also, sexual battery settlement average, sexual battery proof, and OnlyFans. Now, to be fair, he did also search for terms like false sexual assault accusation. He also searched for sue for false allegations. So, I, you know, it appears that, yeah, he, he did not rape her, um, but clearly this woman is troubled and he took advantage of it. And I would just want to know, what the hell is Bridget Ziegler thinking? You know? What is she thinking and how would he feel? How would Christian Ziegler feel if Bridget started keeping a list of men, right? She all of a sudden had this list of men that maybe she wanted to have threesomes with. These people, these are the people who rail against same-sex marriage. They're always thumping their Bibles. They're always bitching about how marriage should be between a woman and a man, right? says Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. All that BS. I love how they pick and choose which parts of that book to follow. Right? It also talks about adultery. Also talks about coveting by neighbor's wife. And I mean, I, I could go on and on lying. <laughs> I mean, unreal. Unreal. But yeah, I mean, it's Florida. It's Florida. It's Margaritaville, and it's the Republican Party. So there you go. All right. I will let you know if I hear any more. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Have a great weekend. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.